is your uh, administrator will have an administrative card here which is is labeled it says universal admin and this will allow you to go ahead and start the process in the kiosk slide that through and you see we have a old password new password to confirm so the first thing universal admin has to do is enter in their preset password which in this case will be given to them in this case it's one two three four five six uh, at which point you'll come here and you'll select a new password. So I'm gonna make it easy. I'm just gonna make the password one here and then we hit submit. And now my password has been successfully updated. So now my administrator card has a password that's only associated with me that I would know um, and nobody else will have access to the system without this card and that associated password. Now we could set it so you have to have a certain number of characters or it has to be be anything we're just simplifying the right. demo demonstration right so well. I, I set my new administrative password as one so at this point I'll go ahead and enter it at which point we'll bring to the administration menu um, so once this loads uh, you see we have a couple actions we do can do uh, the first one is configure area so if we click on there you can configure the area for this particular kiosk so we're divided up by states zones council areas and wards and I can update this information at the kiosk here I can change the kiosk information this can be done by the administrator on site um, as you can see here for instance if I went to state and I entered 55 it's gonna say error invalid state values are 1 to 37 so that's because there's 37 associated states mm -hmm. so we'll actually uh, safeguard against user input error um, so here I'll go ahead and clear that and I'll put in a more valid choice of 26 and then I've updated the kiosk. So now this is for state 26 kiosk. Again, you can update uh, the state level, the zone level, council area, and the ward. Um, so once I've configured the kiosk, I can come here and I can configure for the election itself. And what this is gonna bring up here, it's going to bring up the positions that we'll be voting for during this election. So each kiosk is configurable. So we're going to set it back to the original configuration seven. Okay, and as you can see here, we have active voting for House of Representatives, Senator, Governor, and President. So if this election wasn't going to be eligible for Senator, we could take that, just simply touching it, and we'll slide it over to the inactive screen. So that means we will not be voting on those uh, positions. We're going to go ahead and add those back. Um, as we're going to go ahead and have you guys vote for all four. But you could see there, um, you could have any number of things here. You could add uh, other elected positions, and anything so like that. Uh, 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 election, that's a percentage. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, so this is kind of an example of everything's configurable for you guys. You won't need to come to us and say, I want to vote for Senator. Mm -hmm. This is something that you'll be able to enter yourself uh, mm -hmm. in the web interface. Mm -hmm. You could add a new, uh, a new role or a new election. And this is all things that you can do on your end without coming back to the software side to us. It's very configurable. Um, we're gonna go back here. Um, you could change your password if you chose to do that. I'm not gonna do that now, but you saw us do that earlier on. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and exit. And um, if you wanna go ahead and swipe your card, it's going to be card stripe like it shows in the graphic here. Thank you. So like that. But it has a number here. No, yeah. Um, well, this is what's it is. You're just gonna go by the, the image there. So the, yeah, exactly. Let's go ahead and swipe. That's uh, it. Go ahead and pull it out. All right. Now it's it's registering. Now it's pulling your specific voter ID out of this machine. This is tied to you and only you. Uh, this is not going to be duplicated on any other machine. It will only be tied to this machine. Uh, it will prevent. Uh, you know any kind of election fraud so at this point you have uh, the different parties symbols and what you can do is if you want to vote along party lines you can select one of those symbols uh, you can let me let me mention the other one by itself sure pass screen okay so now we vote for Afghan Afghan one one yes yes no your card finish just touch it touch Afghan okay just ah yep Okay. So, you voted for oh, those part, Progressive Grand Alliance. Mm -hmm. 
John Balak and Shegun Emmanuel, Presidential All Progressive Grand Alliance. Okay. Why you try something else? Sorry, so... Yeah, I finished what? That's why you still try the ballot now running out. Right. To write all the people you voted for, so you can now bend down and read it. At least if I cannot read it, then... Let's say I don't know how to read it. And then the people who will not count the vote, we bring it out to count. Okay, yeah. mm. I know I got it. You're done voting. Yes, now, 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 next person you want to vote, you please vote on individual.